Hi guys, welcome to the first CSS tutorial on the next rank channel. So today we are going to talk about the uh, box sizing property, which is very important when you want to control the size of your elements. So I want to jump straight into demonstration. Here I have, uh, I'm using code pen by the way, and I'll be linking um, this pen uh, in the description of this video so that you can also manipulate it on your own. But here what I have is a container, all right? This container, this div that you see here is actually this uh, whole, this first box uh, with a black border here. And it has a uh, box one, which is the blue box here and box two, the uh, lemon color uh, box here. And then uh, we have this second uh, div uh, with the class additional. It is the one you see here. So it is actually the same um, width as this one, although it doesn't look like it if you, you check here on the right. But let's look at what's happening in the CSS. So in the CSS, both boxes, this first one and second one, they have a uh, four pixel black border, uh, which is solid. Uh, they have a font size of 1.5 EM um, so that you guys can see uh, when I'm recording this. And they both have the same width, 30 EMs. I will explain why uh, they look different. Then uh, the container, uh, which is this first box, has a font width of um, bold. And uh, the second box below, which is this one, additional uh, with additional class, has um, a margin at the top of 1 EM, so that it is not clipped with this first box here. And it has a padding of 10 pixels. So this box sizing is actually what makes it different in terms of the width from the first box. I'll explain further in a second. So uh, for now we have um, box one and box two here. So both have a width of 100%. So I want both of them to take the full width of the appearance elements here, which is the container, um, which itself has a 30 EM width. And um, I want the uh, first box here to have this background color, which is why you see it's like it's blue. And um, it has a border of three pixels, uh, which is red and a padding at the top uh, top and down with 10 pixels, left and right is 20 pixels here. And uh, finally, uh, the second box has uh, its lemon color from this um, CSS declaration. All right, so now what is happening? Why does this stretch all the way, uh, etc.? In the CSS box model, and I'm going to link this in the um, video description. So what happens is when you add um, border and a, a padding, to your, uh, your element, it adds it on top of whatever uh, width you specify for your elements. When I create a div, for instance, and it's 30 EM, if I type in, okay, let me type it before the width. For some reason, I like to have them like um, alphabetically ordered. So I'm going to have padding um, right, and I'm going to have 50 pixels. Now see what happens. It was 30 EM, in the beginning, I've added uh, 50 pixels and now it's stretching further. By default, paddings and borders get added to the width and height of elements. And that is because by default, this uh, property here, box uh, sizing, the default behavior, this is set to content box. Now, see here on MDN, uh, the Mozilla Developer Network, um, you can read more about this, but this is basically what I'm demonstrating right now. And I can do the same thing for that one. So I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to go to my first box here, box one, and I'm going to have um, padding here, 200 pixels. Now see what happens here. It now stretches, it goes way outside its box. So now that I've added this padding, it means I now have to add a width, um, property here and try and specify instead of having a hundred percent like I had here, I have to override this and maybe make it um, 50% or maybe uh, 51. You see, I have to manually adjust the width. That's not what we want. So the solution here is to use box sizing and I will have border box. And now the padding gets taken into account uh, when the width is being calculated. So when you add a border box with the box sizing property, you are asking the browser to take into account your paddings and borders into the width and the height of your elements. So let's try and fix all the uh, sizing issues we have here. 
and I'm going to do it one way and then I'm going to enhance this process. So I'm going to re-enable that and I'm going to have um, border box here. And now you can see both uh, divs, this container and the other div with the additional class, they both have the same size because they both have the width of 30 EM and whatever padding I have here, like the padding right, gets taken into account. So it adds the 50 pixels of padding right here to the first um, div without stretching it. So all other elements get pushed further to the left to make um, space for the padding here. So what other issue we have? I believe this is it. But in CSS, we have this thing, not just in CSS, actually in programming in general, we have that thing. Uh, D-R-Y, which stands for don't repeat yourself. And uh, see what we did here. I've repeated this box sizing a couple of times. So I'm going to clear this out. I'm also going to remove it. I'm going to remove that. We don't need it. I'm going to um, remove it here as well. And I'm going to remove it from the first box also. All right, so we are now back to our messed up layout. And all I can do here is add the universal property, which you can set using the asterisk. So this means all elements. So I can do this. And then now I can type box sizing, border box, which means all elements uh, here in my HTML should have this applied to them. So here, I'm going to remove that uh, right padding. We don't actually need it, but you see how it works now. So if we go to box one, box one has this 200 pixels padding here and padding here, it doesn't change anything. So that's what we, that's how it works. We are telling the browser to take into account the border and padding into the width of our elements. Of course, you can also control this with inheritance like you would um, add uh, something like this you would have inherit for instance and all this works the same way um, it's considered that like, by some better practice but for this simple uh, piece of code um, you know simply having it like this uh, works just fine All right, so I hope you got um, the point of this video and this tutorial helped you. If you did, please make sure you like this video and you subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll catch you next time.